Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val. In today's video, I want to test drive Mimic Live for Dash Studio. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been you know playing around with speech. You know, I'm really impressed with the sound quality. However, you know, uh, I've been showing you a manual approach to how to lip sync, right? In the in the last video, and today I want to show you a more automatic way. And I have to tell you, I'm not really super impressed by Mimic Live. Uh, not only is it kind of weird to only have, you know, a live capture. Why the heck do I want to have live capture, right? I want to have a sound recording. I can I can kind of plug into the software and let it then translate. Why would I do it live? It doesn't make sense. So the first thing you need to know is that it doesn't work on newer characters. You need Dash Studio 4.15 installed. I had a 4.12 and it didn't uh, work at all. So you need the latest Dash Studio installed. However, if you can you know, fire it up here, after you have installed, um, you have to click here about install plugins and enter your um, code, right? So when you have purchased it in your Dash account, you go into your Dash account and click on serial numbers, which is located over uh, here. And this will display all kinds of software that you have purchased that requires serial number. You copy that and then you go back and you click here about install plugins and simply locate Mimic Live and enter it there. Not a big deal. Now, the, the problem is when you look at it in, in the, um, let me just, uh, when you look at it here in the Dash Store, there is very little, you know, information uh, included here. And it says just, you know, Mimic Live is a plugin for Dash 3 that provides real-time lip sync functionality and blah, 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 and, and so forth, right? Um, no Mac support and so forth. Um, it says it does not support Genesis 8 figures. Um, however, when you go back with this, and you click here on the configuration file in the Mimic Live window, you see that there is no Genesis 3 either. There is Genesis, all right, uh, but no Genesis 3 or 2 or 1. Uh, you have the old Victoria models here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the old Michael and so forth. And I have here Victoria 4 added, all right. Um, and, you know, I've been trying for the last two hours now, trying to figure out how to feed my audio file, which I recorded in the last video. It sounds like this. Hey there, I'm a Das character and I can speak. How are you doing? So that was created using the speech, you know, um, speech engine, which I covered in the last video. And I've been trying to feed this into the microphone because there is only, you know, like live capture. And I really hate that feature. Why on earth do I want to use live capture when talking, uh, when having characters? If I, if I have a voice talent um, that I outsource, or if I use a, a, you know, a voice engine, uh, the text-to-speech voice engine, why would I want it to be live? It's, it's kind of, it kind of makes me kind of annoyed, right? So the only way... I found, and I've been trying a lot of ways. There is, you know, this Windows stereo thingy that lets you output your um, speakers to the uh, microphone. That doesn't work. There is this feature in the Audacity, which you can change to uh, Windows WhatsApp or something, and use even loopback. That should, um, in theory, uh, I, I've read about this, uh, change the um, output of your speakers to the input of the, um, you know, uh, microphone, but that didn't work either. So I kind of gave up on that and just thought, well, it's not going to work out. <laughs> Let's do it the old fashioned way. So the way I, I, I'm going to try and, and mimic this is to record the audio as the timeline here at the bottom is playing back. So I, I'm going to get the same speed for it. Now, the, the entire process is pretty straightforward. You select your character, you click on, uh, uh, click on start capturing. Hi there, I'm trying to capture some voice here and I see you are moving and 
speaking. Well, it's live and cool, but it doesn't enable me to, to kind of use the files I have pre-recorded. So that's that. Now, when you stop, you have a ready timeline. You can move it back. And if you have playback audio here ticked, you can just click on play here. Hi there, I'm trying to capture some voice here and I see you are moving and it will play back that sound. All right, so then we can just remove all these. Go here and remove select, delete select keys. All right, now next I wanna mimic that file. Hey, hey there, I'm a jazz character and I can speak. How are you doing? That's what you're saying, right? So I'm gonna start capturing. Let's see if I can do that. Hey there, I'm a jazz character and I can speak. How are you doing? So I get a proper timing. Then we got that timed. Hey there, I'm a jazz character and I can speak. How are you doing? I'm not impressed by the quality either. It doesn't look like she's mimicking the words I say. She just randomly opens her mouth or something like that and just fails to uh, hear what I'm saying or interpret what I'm saying. I'm not impressed with this software. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Um, so now that we have her synced, what we can do is uh, render her out and because she has the same timing as this recording, because I follow this timeline here, we can try and render this out and mimic that and match it in a, in a video editing software, right? But I, I just think that's a tedious process and it doesn't really allow me to do what I want to do. I want to simply feed the audio I have into this and translate it directly into someone that's talking, not speak it for, for myself, right? So this is a 4995 software. It doesn't deliver the quality. I think is horrible. It doesn't, you know, create any good lip syncing at all. Uh, plus it's live. And I, I have already said what I think about that, right? Live is, I, ho I hate it. Why, why is it live? You know, creating animations and all that. I couldn't think of one single uh, reason why live would fit my needs. It's just, I just, I'm blown away in the wrong way, right? So instead of feeding this into the video editing software and rendering this out, I'm going to disable playback audio and record results. I'm going to just turn that off and simply put, play this back at the same time as I'm playing this. And hopefully that would just work out. Let's do that. Hey there. I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? As you can see, I don't find the, you know, quality good. I just don't think it, uh, it resonates with me. It, there was no lip, lip syncing, just uh, opening the mouth. And so if you load the incorrect uh, character, let's say you load um, Genesis a uh, female. And just the basic one and you would click on that I'm just pause while loading and you click on that and you select start capturing uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna say I'm um, just see uh, well I have Victoria here selected right and really if I select Genesis and start capturing as you can see, it doesn't recognize at all. It, it doesn't work, right? Um, so that kind of fails. And But that's set on the product page. However, Genesis 3 female, if I just load it real quick, let me pause while loading. And now let's try to get it to work on this one, right? I'm gonna select the same Genesis is the only one I have that would fit, so let's select that. And let's click on uh, just record and play back and start. Well, are we talking or not? We are not talking, right? She's not, you know, capturing anything at all. So I think 
this is kind of deceiving. It says it's not working with Genesis 8. Uh, well, it's not working with Genesis 3 either. Uh, and that's kind of deceiving, I think. All right, guys, so that was a quick demo of the software. Do not buy it at any cost. I think it's worthless. It's The quality is not good. It's only for the older, you know, old generation figures. However, it requires 4.15 to work. All right, guys, that's all for now. Have fun. Thanks for watching. See you soon again.